Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Today I just want to go through this uh, main file in our... What is this now? Is this a game? I don't know what this is anymore. It's a, uh, a mix of a bunch of shit that we need to uh, separate, basically. So this main file needs to be separated into a beautiful little game class. Alright, so today's video is just going to be about making the game class, kind of talking about it a little, and in the next video we're actually going to go ahead and uh, and start shoving stuff in there. So let's just get started, let's create a new, add a new item, or a new, yeah, new item, and just C++ class, just like that, and we're going to name it game, uh, no base class, virtual destructor, and we're fine. So we're going to have a little game class here. And in this game class, I'm going to put everything that we have in main, basically. Okay, everything just crashed, going to hell, oh shit. Let's see, okay, there we go. So now I have my game.cpp and my game.h. It's nothing much, just now on its own. But the idea, the idea is in main to not have all of this code here. We're just going to go down and we're going to just have a few things here. We're just going to have a while loop, this while loop. And that's still gonna be in main and we're gonna update stuff here and we're gonna render stuff here okay so basically if we get started we're gonna just comment shit in here so functions um, accessors modifiers and then we of course we have our constructors and destructors boom private and there you go so that's cool and uh, usually a problem that I have variables is that deciding how to initialize shit so we have variables we have our private functions and these are really important and then we're just gonna have at the bottom all the way down we're gonna have static variables and static functions okay there you go and they're gonna be in in public so well actually no that's gonna be at the bottom and this is gonna be at the bottom as well private functions uh, okay we'll keep it like that whatever it doesn't really matter it's just comments um, what we want to do is we want to create a private function called void initialize all right that's gonna initialize stuff that we need so we go to game.cpp and I'm kind of gonna copy this and I'm gonna put all private functions on top okay and I'm gonna copy this here put it there constructors there you go and the only thing the game constructor is gonna do is it's gonna do this initialize all right, it's gonna initialize stuff, and we're gonna rename this. We're gonna make a bunch of initialized functions in here, and the destructor is just gonna remove a bunch of shit. So let's start off in game.h by including include libs.h. All right, and we go into our main.cpp. So the idea is that main is just gonna get this game.cpp in here. Game dot h I mean and that's gonna make sure we get in <laughs> what the hell is this dude I need to copy this as well what am I doing I can't forget uh, boom okay you might not need that but I do um, so there you go so what do we have in main that we want to shove in there into uh, into this beautiful game class so what we do want is we're gonna, for example, the update input, we're gonna put in there. We're gonna take all of these things and we're gonna put it in there. Um, so this is for the window, okay. All right, let's just start off by making a basic little template here. So void update, all right, void render, okay. And obviously we're gonna have our uh, glfw window window in here all right and we're gonna have an initialize uh, is that working 
yeah that's working okay so we're gonna have an initialize function for the window we're gonna have an initialize function and I'm just gonna name it init window instead um, and then main let's go into game.cpp and the private function right there in it window boom and then we're gonna define that just like that control period enter that's what I did to get that happen otherwise you can do quick actions if you're on Visual Studio uh, but still you want it to look like this and then we're gonna initialize the window and everything so for that we already have a bunch of parameters here so I'm just gonna copy all of those and put them in here alright so we want the title the width and everything everything same thing in here the title the width all that crap um, so there we go and then we're just gonna be able to do exactly what this function is doing just all of this instead of returning window we're just gonna leave it at that we're gonna copy all of this code except the return window we're going to go into game and we're just gonna paste it in here all right boom and it's gonna complain about the frame buffer resize callback right now um, but to solve that what we can do is we can actually define it somewhere else we can actually define it uh, if we go into main and we just copy the whole thing and uh, let's see let's go above game here and just paste that in there like that with the semicolon and it should start to recognize that yeah it recognized it no problems we have one more problem in it window of course all of these damn parameters so what we could do is we could let's see we're not gonna need those as well alright so let's start off by defining some stuff in here so this is the window stuff alright and window needs some relatable related um, parameters or variables so like I have here constant width and stuff so we're gonna need that const int max width or uh, window width const int window height int frame buffer width int frame buffer height like that so we got those covered and then we're not gonna need those because we don't need these this uh, reference variable here then we're gonna have a, a bunch of other stuff so we have all this and then we need the OpenGL context OpenGL context and then we're gonna have const int gl um, version major const int gl version minor like we had and we need a well we don't need that boolean right there so I can actually I can remove these two like this so we got the constant height and the width I'm gonna do the same thing from this one like that and I'm gonna copy all of this into now it shouldn't really complain there you go so I'm just gonna copy all this into the uh, top here all right into the game constructor do the same thing here so that's how we create a game object we actually just give it all the window details all of the version details and uh, yeah that way makes life a little easier mm, let's see and then we need to use the initializer list here right here uh, this oh no window width width and then window height height uh, GL version major 
GL version major. I'm going to change this. GL version major. GL version minor. Major. There we go. And major. And then GL version uh, minor. GL version minor. Like that. Now they are constants though. Let me just think here. They are constants. GL version major. All right, we'll do it like this. All right, final change version minor. All right, mm, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. So it looks it's a constant. I want to have it completely um, capital letters minor. There we go. Same thing here, major uh, minor major minor boom okay so I'm just gonna do that there we go uh, all right so that should be good um, any constant I want to just have them as capitals I'm gonna just do, do the same thing with width window width window height copy paste that into here as well with height and version major, version minor, like that. And right in here as well, minor. I know this is kind of tedious, but it's because I didn't do it from the start, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I still have to show you all the changes I'm making, so that's why I'm taking you through this as well. So I'm sorry about that. So what with height, major, minor, with height, major, minor. All right. Um, window width, window height. Finally, god damn. Okay, everything looks clean and nice. Um, and then we just have to kind of send all of this in to here. And now, obviously, we don't need to send these in the constants because we already set them. Um, they have been set. Actually, we don't. Wait, we don't need to send this in at all, right? Because we set everything up here. We set all of these variables in the constructor. Am I right? Um, okay. All right, and those are zero. So void. Let's see. Let's just set those here before we start the init. There we go. So this frame buffer height equals uh, this window height. This. Let's do that. This frame buffer width equals this frame buffer width. No. Window width. Like that. What else do we need to fix? Uh, this window equals null pointer. Just to initialize it to something. Mm, okay. So that's good. Now all we need to do is a const bool resizable or just bool resizable uh, whoops what am I doing uh, resizable there you go and we need to add that to the to the we need to just remove everything except for title and bool resizable there you go title resizable let me just think title and resizable. Same thing in here. And let's see where I put it. There you go. So where is it? All right, there you go. So title and resizable. So remove everything else. Title resizable. Uh, 
title resizable. Okay. This window width. Now we need to set all of these window width. This window height. Um, this GL version major. This GL version minor. Uh, this FB width. This FB height. All right, so now we don't have any errors anymore. Um, we kind of moved all the initialized window to the game class, but we can't test this yet because we need to keep working on this. But the whole idea is to keep doing this until everything is initialized, everything is set. We need to initialize the window first, but we also need to initialize GLFW first. We need to fix all that stuff. So what we're, we're going to do, and I need to end the video now kind of, but before initializing the window, we're going to keep an order here, right? In it, GLFW. And then we're going to have init window, and then we're going to have void init glue, because we need to do that after the, cons the context is created. After context creation. This is very important, otherwise you're going to get crash. This needs a OpenGL context ready, a window ready, in order to initialize. So often I see the problem where you kind of include and initialize stuff in the wrong order. You got a bunch of errors, so you don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's that's that main. If I run this, we're still going to get the include from libs and we're still going to get the frame buffer. Uh, let's see. It already has a body. OK, you need to you need to define this in the CPP file um, private functions functions. Uh, let's just call it general functions. And then we're just going to run that. And uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what we're going to do? I need to kind of copy that header and put it in there. Let's see. I'll check it out. If this doesn't work, I'll check it out. There's some some kind of issues with this damn thing. Let me see. Uh, let me run this. Okay, if it's still an error, I'm gonna check it out, and I will. I'll get back to you in the next video about that. Okay, but still, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Go, please check out the description box for links. Subscribe. Drop a like if you can. If not, just keep learning. Keep working hard. I'll see you guys, and girls, in the next one. All right. Bye bye.